Hi, welcome to my engine here. We are going to show how you can install Arch Merged. So it's not about um, Arch Merge. No, it has a D. The D for development, documentation, I don't know what else you figure it out. Anyway, it's our platform, our learning platform. So how does this thing install? Maybe you've installed already Arch Merge. So now we'll have a look at how this thing works. I'm going to use one of my other um, uh, menus. So you can have this menu. But I want to show you another one. It's Alt F3. Remember, but I'm going to use and it's still another one. Super Shift D. I'm going to say, look, guy, run me VirtualBox. I have this Arch Merge D here and um, we have let's see if we have the latest in there the latest is in my documents and let's make it a bit bigger update modified again and the last one is 607 for both of them arch merged and arch merge so as you can see maybe a little word about the megabytes and the meg gigabytes so arch merge is a completely fully themed with icons and conkeys and three desktop on it with all the software three browsers LibreOffice and all that so it's it's a tremendous amount of data that's on there it's it, you don't have to do anything anymore it's almost completely filled the only thing that the youtubers need to install is OBS and everything is there the simple screen recorder is there we have now screen fetch as well will, which will be useful if they record something about i3 it's keyboard driven tiling manager and other tiling managers as well so it's it's interesting to have it near you so what about this arch merged which is one gigabyte less as you can see between this line and that line we're comparing and we strip down arch merge we're gonna see that they um, grow together to version 6.1 so they'll have the same ISO the same base the same changes and and, and services no not services but the same uh, elements that I change in Arch Merge I'll use in Arch Merged and vice versa so things that I discover I say, oh this is better this is faster they'll grow together but the Arch Merged will not have any desktops, will not have any icons, not any themes, not, no browsers, no, almost no software. It's just termites and uh, bash completion and the mouse pad and small things just for convenience sake because uh, working on a completely empty uh, system is not, not no fun. And we want to have learn, fun, enjoy. That's what we want to do. So we need to have um, some tools to get started, like Git, for instance. The idea in my head is as follows. I have an Arch Merged installation, which is only display drivers, Xorg and network. And then I go to the net. I go to GitHub and I get my scripts in and I run my scripts, script one, script two, script three. And we can make it this repetitive, repetitive task. We can make it more fun by making scripts i'm gonna learn how to use github i'm going to learn you how to use scripts and then in each system whether it's mate whether it's budgie whether it's gnome it's always the same procedure you have to install the desktop environment the display manager what software do you want do you want sound do you want video and and stuff like that so it's gonna be uh, very very similar installations uh, between budgie and gnome for instance the difference is the desktop but in the end we do want a file manager or we, not, we do want the trash can and we do want sound and bluetooth we can't go without bluetooth so the same scripts apply for any of these so we can go to copy paste so that's interesting okay enough speeching uh let's go for it but it's important when you merge that you know what the intention is and that you're not surprised that nothing is in there what is this thing it's meant to be empty it's meant to be a basis 
If you know what Antergos already, this is Antergos space, more or less. We do have a nice graphic installer, luckily for us, and we just choose our language and we go pinpoint again. Yeah, bam on. And we say that we want a Belgian keyboard default. And we got the easiest thing. People ask, what should I do? And well, if you're on VMware or on VirtualBox, doesn't matter. You say erase disk. If you're on your system, and you want a dual boot, I say don't. If you're on a laptop, laptop, I understand. If you're on a desktop, just pop in a new SSD and pop, pop it back out. So keep the Windows 10 and the, the Linux version separate and boot up separately. Anyway, so where is this? I say this is a new screen for the Arch Merge guys in 6.0. I mean, there was this comment. And it was uh, and it was correct. So I took a look, and indeed we can change some things around here. We can say login automatically without asking for the password. But this is actually only usable if you have a desktop environment, and we don't have one. But anyway, it's the same as in Arch Merged, and use the same password for the administrator account. You can use this one. That's okay. So this one you can just click it, but it will have no effect because there is no desktop environment at the end of the installation. So go ahead, chronometer, time the seconds that this takes to install. It's not a lot of 850 megabytes, it shouldn't take that long to install all that. So Arch Merged is our phase two. Maybe I can find a drawing that would be nice. If I can just drag it to my other screen, just showing you what our intention is. So in phase one, we're going to install Arch Merge and we have XFCE, OpenBox and i3. We try to learn gradually what it is. Don't rush it, take your time, uh, certainly with i3. So XFCE, OpenBox, bit more difficult because there are combinations of XFC and OpenBox and, and that's a bit uh, strange and phase two we have this arch merge so that's what we're doing in the first instance we're gonna recreate this one so if everything you learned everything you've seen can we replace it can we sort of copy paste it but then install it ourselves and in arch merge phase three you can install budgie and maybe you can take a look at a tutorial just created for virtual machine. So how to install a virtual machine on Arch Merge. And I use Solus. And Solus is known for the budgie desktop. And then you see more or less how it will look on your Arch system. So the budgie desktop. There is Cinnamon, there is Gnome, there is Heps, Luft, WM. There is a lot of things I've put in on an article. And we do have to wait, still waiting. Oh no, sorry. Let's restart first and see if I can find the article. Um, it's another desktop. It doesn't matter really. Uh, I just wanted to show, I wanted to show you. Bear with me. Ah, it was this one. It's quite interesting to put it in the tutorial as well, so you know that we have a few years to go before everything is really covered. If you want to uh, go ahead, so Arch Merge is going to be released 1st of November, little article about it. And if you don't, if you want to skip it, uh, 2 and 3, you can, and you can just go ahead to phase 4. But this is what we could do, I'm not saying we will do. <laughs> But it's something we could do in phase three or you could do in phase three. So all the links are there. Just install Arch uh, Merged and then go look it up on the wiki and see what you need to do to make it work. There will be some tutorials um, so you'll get uh, the feel and you get the, the knowledge from me. And then you just go ahead and install whatever you want and try it out. So that's that. 
back to the other screen. So, um, what was what were we doing? <laughs> I don't know what we were doing. Uh, everything is installed. Okay, I've got to tell you there is a little button down here that says uh, reboot or something. It will not work. I've reported to Calamares that it will be functional in a few next releases or so. So we need to go here and then we say log out or shut down, but log out seems easier and then restart. So everything is installed. The ISO is still in there. So actually, if you really want to be correct, then you say this one out of it. So there's no ISO in our system or virtual machine. And then it just looks like this, Arch merged. I hope they'll fix this firmware bug sometime. And then the only thing you can do is tell that you're Eric and that your password is Eric. And that's it. There you go. No system, nothing at all. There's only folders and, and stuff, but there's nothing really uh, interesting going on. It's now up to you to install GNOME or anything really. Um, first things first, maybe just a quick tip then it's included in the tutorial do a quick mirror and mirror is getting the latest uh, the, the big the fastest service in your neighborhood because it's a global iso i'm from belgium but you're in america and so on so we get the fastest uh, elements and as you know then you do this one and see how fast it goes and indeed why not there are still they're already updated <laughs> that's typically Arch oh, just created yesterday or so this ISO and there you are, you have already updates. Um, I was just thinking, no, nothing thinking anymore. So this concludes the tutorial. This is how we install Arch Merged and now other tutorials will um, tell you how to install GNOME, Budgie and so on. All right, cheers.